It's a scary question. Could terrorists potentially hack an airplane? Well, apparently the government just did. A Department of Homeland Security cybersecurity aviation expert says his team was able to successfully hack a Boeing 757 radio frequency while the jet was on the ground. Wow. So is that as scary as it sounds or is it much to do about nothing? Let's ask cybersecurity analyst Morgan Wright. Good morning, Morgan. What does this tell you about uh, a DHS official uh, being able to hack into a jet that was parked about the possibility um, that a terrorist or someone else could hack one of our jets in the sky? About three or four months before MH370 went down Malaysian Air, Boeing filed a notice with the FAA saying they were concerned about the in-flight entertainment system in their 777. They'd already identified structural and network weaknesses inside their own aircraft on the 777. The 757 is much older than that. So if you're worried about your most advanced mm. aircraft, you have a lot of reasons to be concerned about your older aircraft. And look, on the one hand, you can't have DHS said we've hacked a plane. And on the other hand, Boeing going, there's nothing to see here, folks. Move along. There's something here. It's a network. Every network has been penetrated. Period. So, Morgan, in-flight systems, you're talking about the Wi-Fi or the DirecTV or the, the Our entertainment, movies. <laughs> the movies that we all love. You so bet. You're saying those are at some level connected or could be connected to the flight systems of the aircrafts? They're supposed to be separate networks, uh, you know, and so, Pete, you know this better than a lot of folks. We think of asymmetric warfare, right? So we think of Iran and their centrifuges and how we attack those with Stuxnet and Flame. Mm -hmm. They were physically separate networks, right? Wrong. They were connected because we're able to get to people on the ground mm. and get things inserted into that network. So, yeah, if somebody got onto a plane and connected it, what you're now doing is rather than having to defend all the planes, if you take down one plane, I have to act as though every plane is vulnerable, and now I have to defend every single plane. Mm. Wow, this sounds really scary. I mean, it sounds like you could get a 9-11 attack without the hijackers. You know, uh, people used to think 24 was, uh, you know, just a bunch of made-up stuff where they took over the Homeland Security device, you know, and changed air traffic control. But mm -hmm. these are very real concerns. Our infrastructure is aging. There's the IT modernization bill that's trying to be attached to the defense spending bill. Our systems are so old. If you remember the Office of Personnel Management breach, 21 million records, that mm. system was so old the records couldn't even be encrypted. This is the type of uh, technology wow. we're dealing with. Wow. Yeah, Apple IIe's. Remember those? Yeah. <laughs> and the new Yahoo yeah, could forget those. Yeah, that's right. Pete's got an iPhone 4, so I don't know <laughs> what he's talking about. It's pretty awesome. Flip phone, baby. Go back to the flip phone. Old that's style. true. That's Morgan true. Wright, thanks for bringing thanks, us Morgan. some important Appreciate information it. this morning.